Shout out to the Ball State Cardinals getting another win yesterday in Toledo as well. Three point win up in Northwestern Ohio. They moved to three and one. Good job. Good day of football. Hopefully, as Olivia said, another good day of football with the Colts. Hopefully getting a big win against the Titans later on today. It's 32 right now. If you're heading to that game, I think we've got a good forecast for you. The winds are quiet. Should stay pretty quiet as we start rolling through the day. It's 35 in Muncie, 30 in Richmond, 30 in Greencastle, 29 in Bloomington, 28 in Madison. So we're feeling the chill a little bit. I call it seasonably chilly, right? Our overnight lows typically should be into the low to mid 30s this time of year. I think it's going to be another nice day. Maybe a few more clouds compared to yesterday, but still bright start here this morning from the 30s at 8 o'clock to the mid 40s by noon. And we'll finish with highs near 50 later on today. And that's, I think, statewide for the most part, right around 50 degrees up in South Bend, along with Fort Wayne and Muncie, Richmond as well, Greencastle, Lafayette. We may even see some mid 50s down along the Ohio River later on this afternoon. Soak it in. We've got some big changes inbound as we start to open up the week. And we've been talking about our snow chances, so let's kind of fine tune this for you. We're feeling a little more confident on what we may expect here as we roll into your Sunday night and Monday. This is 11 o'clock this evening, and as we've been saying, precip will arrive initially as rain. We're going to be warm enough to support liquid, mainly in our southern counties. And then that will fill in as we get closer to daybreak tomorrow, and we start getting colder. And so we'll likely see a changeover to from rain to a wintry mix, maybe even all snow in spots by around six or seven o'clock in the morning. And that does include the city here and much of the metropolitan area. I don't know if we'll get a lot sticking on the ground at this point, but I would be prepared for maybe a bit of a slower commute as we gear up for your Monday morning, both to work and school. We'll keep a snow chance as we start rolling through the late morning and early afternoon. However, it looks like the steadiest of the snow is probably going to be confined into east central Indiana. The exception also is going to be some lake effect snow bands that come down from Lake Michigan. They could get as far south as maybe Lafayette and Kokomo, Frankfurt, uh, those areas there. So you may see some additional accumulations, although that will be a pretty narrow band won't be widespread. Meanwhile, Monday night into Tuesday, the heaviest of the snow has already moved into Ohio for the most part. We may get clipped by some of the outer bands of that system moving through in east central and northeastern Indiana. But by and large, for most of central Indiana, I think a bulk of our snow action is likely going to happen Monday morning. Once we get into Tuesday afternoon, uh, we'll get most of the snow moving out. We may still have some lake effect snow showers kind of rolling through by early in the afternoon hours on Tuesday, but late in the day, the system will clear us and we should start to quiet things down. So here's kind of the updated map. I didn't make significant changes really too much from yesterday's map. I'm feeling pretty decent about this. Areas in pink around one to two inches. Much of this here, Muncie, Richmond, Rushville, Newcastle, a lot of this is going to fall probably through Monday morning. Uh, up here, where it's in pink, places like uh, Delphi, up near Kokomo, that's going to be lake effect snow bands. A lot of that's going to fall Monday night into Tuesday. And you see much of the metro area, less than one inch of snowfall. So not a real big snow. It is going to be a real windy day as well. So it's going to be kind of miserable with the snow flying around, gusty winds. Our wind chills are likely going to be in the low 20s, maybe for some into the upper teens. So here comes that winter chill. Chapman heated and cooling, eight day forecast. It's going to stay chilly for a while. Flurries kind of rolling through on Tuesday, 33. 41 Wednesday could see a couple of rounds of mixes Thursday and Friday with highs in the low 40s and back into the upper 30s heading into next weekend.